The Romaniote Jews or Romaniotes Greek, Romaniotes, Romaniotes, Hebrew, Rumnitum, Romaniotum are an ethnic Jewish community native to the Eastern Mediterranean. They are generally one of the oldest Jewish communities in existence and specifically the oldest Jewish community in Europe. Their distinct language was Judeo-Greek, a Greek dialect that contained Hebrew along with some Aramaic and Turkish words but now speak modern Greek or the languages of their new home countries. They derived their name from the old name for the people of the Byzantine Empire, Romoyoi. Large communities were located in Thebes, Yanina, Chalchi, Corfu, Arda, Preveza, Volos, Patras, Corinth, and on the islands of Zakynthos, Lesbos, Chios, Samos, Rhodes, and Cyprus, among others. The Romaniotes are historically distinct and still remain distinct from the Sephardim, who settled in Ottoman Greece after the 1492 expulsion of the Jews from Spain. A majority of the Jewish population of Greece was killed in the Holocaust after Axis powers occupied Greece during World War II. They deported most of the Jews to Nazi concentration camps. After the war, a majority of the survivors emigrated to Israel, the United States, and Western Europe. Today there are still functioning Romaniote synagogues in Chalkis which represents the oldest Jewish congregation on European ground, in Yanina, Athens, New York and Israel. Topic. Name Topic. The name Romaniote refers to the medieval Eastern Roman Empire, which included the territory of modern Greece, and was for centuries the homeland of this Jewish group. Historically, the empire was commonly referred to as Romania, Romania and its Christian citizens as Romoioi, while the Greek-speaking Jews were called Romaniotes, both terms have the meaning of the demonym Romans. Further information History Jews have lived in Greece long before the Second Temple era. The Greek Judaism dates back over 2,300 years to the time of Alexander the Great. The earliest reference to a Greek Jew is an inscription dated c. 300–250 BC, found in Oropos, a small coastal town between Athens and Boeotia, which refers to Moschos, son of Moschian the Jew, who may have been a slave. On the island Aegina, a Hellenistic Jewish synagogue was discovered in 1829 in the capital of the island, near the ancient military port. The synagogue was originally discovered by the Scottish German historian Ludwig Ross, from the royal court of King Otto of Greece. The floor was covered in order to be protected and was studied again by Thiersch in 1901, Fertwängler in 1904, E. Sukunik in 1928, and finally by the German archaeologist Dr. G. Welter, in 1932. The studies were completed by the National Archaeological Service. Based on the quality of the floor's mosaic, the building is believed to have been constructed in the 4th century AD, 300 to 350 AD and was used until the 7th century AD. The mosaic floor of the synagogue still survives see photo on the left side and is made up of multi-colored tesserae, that create the impression of a carpet, in a geometric pattern of blue, gray, red and white. Two Greek inscriptions were found in front of the synagogue's entrance, on the western side of the building. Today, only part of the synagogue S mosaic floor is extant, and it has been moved from its original location to the courtyard of the island. S archaeological museum. In 1977, an other ancient synagogue has been discovered in Athens, the synagogue in the Agora of Athens, which may be the synagogue in that Paul the Apostle preached. Inscriptions in the Samaritan and the Greek alphabet found in Thessaloniki may originate from Samaritan synagogues. Concurrently the oldest synagogue found in the diaspora is also the oldest Samaritan synagogue, it is the Delos Synagogue which has been discovered so far on the island of Delos, with an inscription dated between 250 and 175 BCE The Romaniotes are Greek Jews, distinct from both Ashkenazim and Sephardim, who trace back their history to the times of the Greek-speaking Byzantine Jews and can be subdivided in a wider sense in a Rabbinite community and in the greco karaite community of the Constantinopolitan Karaites which still survives to this day. A Romaniote oral tradition tells that the first Jews arrived in Yanina shortly after the destruction of the Second Temple in Jerusalem in 70 AD. 
Before the migration of the Ashkenazi and the Sephardi Jews into the Balkans and Eastern Europe, the Jewish culture in these areas consisted primarily of Romaniote Jews. The Romaniote rites represent those of the Greek-speaking Jews of the Byzantine or former Byzantine Empire, ranging from southern Italy, in a narrower sense, the Apulian, the Calabrian, and the Sicilian Jewish communities in the west, to much of Turkey in the east, Crete to the south, Crimea, the Krimchaks to the north, and the Jews of the early medieval Balkans and Eastern Europe. The Sefer Yosipon was written down in the 10th century in Byzantine southern Italy by the Greek-speaking Jewish community there. Judah Leon ben Moses Moscone, a Romaniote Jew from Akrita edited and expanded the Sefer Josipon later. This community of Byzantine Jews of southern Italy produced such prominent works like the Sefer Ahimaz of Ahimaz ben Paltiel, the Sefer Hakmani of Shabbathai Donolo, the Agadath Bereshit and many Piyutim. The liturgical writings of these Romaniote Jews, especially the Piyyut were eminent for the development of the Ashkenazi Mazur, as they found their way through Italy to Ashkenaz and are preserved to this day in the most Ashkenazi Mazurim. The Jews of southern Italy continued to be Greek speakers until the 15th century where they were living together with their Greek-speaking Christian counterparts. When they were expelled and went to different regions of Greece, especially Corfu, Epirus and Thessaloniki, they could continue to speak their Greek language, even if this language was somewhat different from that of Greece. In the 12th century, Benjamin of Tadella traveled through the Byzantine Empire and recorded details about communities of Jews in Corfu, Arda, Aphilin, Patras, Corinth, Thebes, Chalkis, Thessaloniki, and Drama. The largest community in Greece at that time was in Thebes, where he found about 2,000 Jews. They were engaged mostly in cloth dyeing, weaving, in producing of silverware and making silk garments. At the time, they were already known as Romaniotes. The first Romaniote synagogue under Ottoman rule was Etz Ha Hayam Hebrew, Z Hayam Lit. Tree of Life, frequently a name of Romaniote synagogues in Prousa in Asia Minor which passed to Ottoman authority in 1324. After Sultan Mehmed II's conquest of Constantinople he found the city in a state of disarray. After suffering many sieges, a devastating conquest by Catholic crusaders in 1204 and even a case of the Black Death in 1347, the city was a shade of its former glory. The event of the conquest of Constantinople, despite the city was in a state of disarray, was written down by a Romaniote Paton in a lament hymn, composed with several phrases from the Old Testament in the Shabizi style. As Mehmed wanted the city as his new capital, he decreed the rebuilding of the city. And in order to revivify Constantinople he ordered that Muslims, Christians and Jews from all over his empire be resettled in the new capital. Within months most of the empire's Romaniote Jews, from the Balkans and Anatolia, were concentrated in Constantinople, where they made up 10% of the city's population. The forced resettlement, though not intended as an anti-Jewish measure, was perceived as an expulsion by the Jews. Nevertheless, the Romaniotes would remain the most influential Jewish community in the empire for decades to come, determining the chief rabbis of the towns and the Hakim Bashi of the Ottoman Empire until their leading position was lost to a wave of new Jewish arrivals. These events initiated the first great numerical decline of the Romaniote community. The number of Jews was soon bolstered by small groups of Ashkenazi Jews that immigrated to the Ottoman Empire between 1421 and 1453. Waves of Sephardi Jews were expelled from Spain in 1492, many settled in Ottoman-ruled Greece, they spoke a separate language, Ladino. Thessaloniki had one of the largest mostly Sephardi Jewish communities in the world and a solid rabbinical tradition. On the island of Crete, the Jews historically played an important part in the transport trade. In the centuries following 1492 most of the Romaniote communities were assimilated by the more numerous Sephardim. The status of Jewry in the Ottoman Empire often hinged on the whims of the Sultan. Murad III for example ordered that the attitude of all non-Muslims should be one of humility and abjection, and should not live near mosques or in tall buildings. Or own slaves. After the liberation of Yanina on February 21, 1913, the rabbi and the Romaniote community of Yanina welcomed at the new synagogue of Yanina the liberator of the city, the Crown Prince Constantine, the future king of the Hellenes Constantine I. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Romaniote community of Yanina numbered about 4,000 people, mostly lower class tradesmen and craftsmen. 
Their numbers dwindled after that due to economic outmigration. After the Holocaust and on the eve of World War II, there were approximately 1950 Romaniotes left in Yanina. Centered around the old fortified part of the city or Castro, where the community had been living for centuries, they maintained two synagogues, one of which, the Kahila Kedosha Yashan Synagogue still remains today. A strong Romaniote community was present in Corfu until the late 19th century, when a pogrom sparked by blood libel charges forced most of the Jewish community to leave the island. The Romaniote Nusik and Minhag The Romaniote prayer rite is seen in the original Mazar Romania and Romaniote commentaries on Jewish exegesis and Jewish law, vary from those of the Ashkenazi, the Sephardic and the Mizrachi Jews, and are closer to those of the Italian Jews. Some of these are thought to have been based on the Jerusalem Talmud instead of the Babylonian Talmud see Palestinian Minhag. This Minhag was once widespread in southern Italy, the Balkans, Greece, Anatolia and the Crimea. The Romaniotes spoke recently Judeo-Greek and many of them still use the Greek language. Tobiah ben Eliezer, Tubai Bur lies a Greek-speaking Talmudist and poet of the 11th century, worked and lived in the city of Castoria. He is the author of the Lakach Tav a Midrashic commentary on the Pentateuch and the Five Megillot and also of some poems. Romaniote scholars translated the Tanakh into Greek. A polyglot edition of the Bible published in Constantinople in 1547 has the Hebrew text in the middle of the page, with a Ladino translation on one side, a Yavanic translation on the other and the Judeo-Aramaic Targum at the bottom of the page. In the early Romaniote rite the Torah was subdivided in Sederim while the whole Torah was read in the Palestinian way of the triennial cycle. The order for reading the Haftarah followed an own custom. The Romaniote Torah scrolls are housed in Tikim, tik, from Greek, the Kai, container, where they never are taken completely out. Among the Romaniote Jews, tradition dictates that the most holy Sefer Torah, the Law of Moses, be read with the scroll standing upright in its tik. It is considered improper to lay it flat. The Siddur prayer book for the Romaniote rite was known as the Mazar Romania. It was actually the first Mazar and represented the Minhag of the Byzantine Jews, which is the oldest European prayer rite. Later the first Mazar was printed, the Mazar Bene Roma, which was based on the Romaniote Mazar. The Romaniote Jews have their own form of wedding blessing. Upon the betrothal, seven blessings are bestowed on the bride and groom-to-be, while wedding wreaths are covering the heads of the groom and the bride and are interchanged on their heads. At the end of a full year, the ketubah was read at the wedding ceremony proper. This is different in that other Jews bless the bride and groom at the time of the actual wedding. In addition, there are ritual differences in the building of the synagogue and in the building and the use of the mikveh. It is a Romaniote tradition to write on the ketubah the year since creation of the world and the year since the destruction of the temple. The Romaniotes traditionally gave to a child a mystical document known as an Aleph. This hand-painted birth and circumcision certificate was created by a family member and then handed down. The Aleph was written in mystical codes for the purpose of warding off the wiles of Lilith, Adam's first wife. The Romaniotes are well known for their hymns in Judeo-Greek and Hebrew, for their special way of cantillation, based on the Byzantine mellows and for their Jewish-Greek folk songs, based on regional melodies. Jewish immigrants from Sicily brought to Yanina the celebration of the Sicilian Purim Katan. The Jews of Yanina call this holiday, Purimopolo. They read the special. Megala for the Purim Katan of Syracuse, and sing corresponding songs and hymns for this festivity. The Mazar of the Romaniote Kaffa rite from the year 1735 gives the order to read the Megillot Antiochos in the Minha of Shabbat Hanukkah. In the second half of the 19th century, the Romaniote community of Greece made an effort to preserve the Romaniote liturgical heritage of Yanina and Arda, by printing various liturgical texts in the Hebrew printing presses of Salonika. Today, the Romaniote liturgy follows with slight differences the mainstream Sephardic usage, while the Romaniotes and the Jews of Corfu have preserved their old and own Judeo-Greek and Hebrew peyutim, their own way of cantillation and their special customs. A custom is, which is still followed in the Etz Chaim Synagogue of Crete to read on Yom Kippur the Book of Jonah in Judeo-Greek. Another custom was to chant the Song of Songs verse by verse by alternating from Hebrew to its paraphrasing Targum Jonathan translation after the morning service on the last two days of Pesach. 
Romaniote synagogues have their own layout. The bima, where the Torah scrolls are read out during services, is on a raised dais on the western wall. The Aaron Hakodesh, where the Torah scrolls are kept, is on the eastern wall, and in the middle there is a wide interior aisle. Votive offerings made of silver as stars or tablets called shadayat were a thankful gift to the synagogue of congregants who have received help, healing, or salvation by God. The Romaniote term for the Passover ceremony Seder is hubhova which means obligation. The Jewish Museum of Greece published in 2004 a Romaniote rite Pesach Seder CD the Yanina Haggadah CD. In the years 2017 and 2018 the Romaniote rite Haggadah and the Romaniote rite prayer book Siddur have been published in a series, containing also Romaniote poetry, the Haftaro according to the Romaniote custom and other texts. <laughs> <laughs> Language and literature Topic. The intellectual pursuits of Romaniote Jews reflected in their history their geographical location within the Jewish and Gentile world. Direct heir to Palestinian Jewish traditions on the one hand, they were also heir to the teachings of the Greco-Roman world. The Byzantine Jewish, Romaniote literature shows a rich blend of Hellenistic Jewish and Palestinian rabbinic traditions. Romaniote Jewry, throughout its history, expended great effort on religious poetry, which reached its peak during the period 1350–1550. The writing of Piyutim was clearly hold as the own genre. Hillel ben Eliakim wrote down in the 12th century his exegetical commentary Cipher ve Sifra. Shamarya Haykriti who moved after 1328 to Negroponte prepared his supercommentary to Ibn Ezra and, circa 1346–47 wrote his Sefer Amasyahu, a handbook of biblical apologetics. In tune with the intellectual currents among Romaniotes, Shamarya was trained in philosophy and was able to translate directly from Greek to Hebrew. The Sefer Yosipan was written by the Byzantine Jews of southern Italy. R. Elnatan ben Moses Kalkas from Kilkis wrote a lengthy Kabbalistic treatise entitled Eben Safir. Mordecai Komatiano has left a legacy of some 15 works on astronomy, grammar, dikdik, biblical commentaries, and piyutim. Some of the later have even been included in the Karaiti prayer book. Several manuscripts containing mystical works have survived. The question of an independent Romaniote mystical tradition, probably deriving directly from Palestinian antecedents, is proved. An abridgment of Aristotle's logic by Yosef Hayavani was made available to those Jews Sephardi immigrants who were less proficient in Greek. The Byzantine Karaites showed a knowledge of Greek philosophical terminology. Rabbinic authors spiced their comments with Greek phrases. The familiarity of Romaniote Jewry with the Greek language is well documented. Biblical translations, piyutim, folk songs, ketubot, liturgical instructions, glossaries, mystical texts and the use of Greek words in commentaries in Judeo-Greek are known. Judeo-Greek The Judeo-Greek of Yanina underwent after World War II a process of coinization. The only phonetic differences to standard modern Greek, which could be noted shortly after the war have been x greater than s before front vowels, unusual intonation patterns and some peculiar lexical items, mostly of Hebrew-Aramaic provenance. Lexemes, such as Hebrew-Aramaic loans, were easily identified as ours and theirs, Sephardic versus Romaniote. While composing texts on their religion, the Greek Jews followed the literary standard of syntax and morphology, using a number of Hebrew-Aramaic loanwords. The Hebrew Aramaic component would be written down in ways re ecting traditional Romaniote pronunciation, for example, Shalom was spelled and written as Shalom. shalom. Krivoruchko states in her work Judeo Greek in the Era of Globalization that Judeo Greek has always been interchangeable with the spoken variety of Greek, which was used by the surrounding Christian community, but had a few special features in its various geographical and chronological types, for example, the Judeo Greek of Crete 1945 and that of Constantinople. Beside of the few phonetic differences between Judeo-Greek and Standard Modern Greek the most common difference has been in Judeo-Greek the use of Hebrew and Aramaic loanwords. Considerable are also the phonetic differences between Romaniote Hebrew look downwards on paragraph hashtag Romaniote Hebrew and Sephardic Hebrew, for example Shavuot was spelled as Sabbath Savoth, whereas Sephardic speaks Shavuot. Second and third generation Romaniote immigrants in New York City have good knowledge of Greek. 
In the beginning of the 21st century 90% asserted that they understand Greek while 40% could speak Greek comfortably. Over a third could read Greek satisfactory. The numbers of skilled persons in the Greek language are much lower in the group of the Greek Sephardim outside of Greece. Romaniote Hebrew the Romaniote pronunciation of the Hebrew language is in its major features very close to the common modern Hebrew pronunciation. The vowel system is a simple five-vowel system without either quantitative or qualitative distinctions. Typical was the absence of distinction between the Semitic velarized and non-velarized stops t and t, spelled t t and k q, spelled k. Q. The distinction between s and s s z is maintained as s t s i. E. A voiceless alveolar fricative against a voiceless alveolar affricate, a pronunciation common to Byzantine and Ashkenazic pronunciation, strong and weak. T, spelled t -t -t theta preserved in Ashkenazic pronunciation as t, s, velar and pharyngeal h and chi, spelled hk, both of which are pronounced chi, as in Ashkenazic, the glottal and pharyngeal stops, and spelled both of which are weakened to the point of almost total absence in syllable initial and syllable final position, another characteristic shared with the Ashkenazic tradition. S was pronounced as s in the Romaniote tradition of Hebrew pronunciation. The loss of spurantization rule for postvocalic, non-geminated Old Hebrew b, d, g, p, t, k homorganic fricatives this rule is not found now in either the Balkan or the North African Sephardic diaspora may have been due Romaniote practice it is observed partly in Yiddish Hebraisms and in the Ashkenazic pronunciation of monolingual Hebrew texts. The z was pronounced as d, z and the d is, which are a typical sounds of the standard modern Greek. The Hebrew paleography resp. The Hebrew epigraphy recognizes a specific Byzantine or Romaniote handwriting system of the Hebrew alphabet, which has been developed among the Sophrim of the Greek-speaking lands. In many cases manuscripts of Romaniote origin from the Byzantine Empire, or from later times can be recognized as Romaniote, only with the science of paleography, if they do not contain a colophon publishing or other characteristics of identification. Holocaust and afterwards Topic. During World War II, when Greece was occupied by Nazi Germany, 86% of the Greek Jews, especially those in the areas occupied by Nazi Germany and Bulgaria, were murdered. Some Greeks collaborated with the deportations or expropriated Jewish property, a few, encouraged by the Greek Orthodox Church, sheltered Jews. Roughly 49,000 Jews, Romaniotes and Sephardim were deported from Thessaloniki alone and murdered. Many Greek Jews were forced to pay their own tickets to the death camps. Almost all Romaniote Jews of the island of Crete, together with some resistance fighters, died on the ship Tene when it was torpedoed by HMS Vivid on 9 June 1944. During the German occupation, the Romaniotes' ability to speak Greek enabled them to hide better from German deportations than Sephardi Jews who spoke Ladino. The creation of the State of Israel in 1948, combined with the violence and anarchy of the Greek Civil War 1946 led to an immigration of a number of Romaniotes to Israel. The great earthquake on the island of Zakynthos in 1953 led the last remaining Romaniote Jews to leave the island towards Athens. The vast majority of Romaniotes have relocated to Israel and the United States. Present day Topic. Today approximately 4,500 to 6,000 Jews remain in Greece. Of these, only a small number are Romaniotes, who live mainly in Thessaloniki, Yanina, Chalkis and Athens. About 3,500 Jews now live in Athens, while another 1,000 live in Thessaloniki. A mixed community of Romaniote and Apulian Jews still lives on the island of Corfu. Topic. Greece Topic. Topic. Athens Topic. The Ioanniotiki Synagogue, situated above the Jewish community of Athens offices at No. 8 Melodoni Street, is the only Romaniote synagogue in Athens. 
Built in 1906, it now has services only during the High Holy Days, but can be opened for visitors upon request through the Jewish Community Office. The Jewish identity of another building found in the excavations of the ancient Agora in Athens, is questionable. It is believed that the Metrun, discovered in 1930 at the foot of the hill Hephaestion was used as a synagogue during its construction at the end of the 4th century CE this view was expressed by the archaeologist H. Thompson, from the American School of Classical Studies in Athens, but was not developed into a complete theory. The Jewish identity of the Metrun was based on a small piece of marble found near the Metrun that had two Jewish symbols carved on one side, and the resemblance of the building to the synagogue of Sardis in Asia Minor. Chalkies <laughs> The Romaniote Jewish community of Chalkis is not the oldest one in Greece, but it is the only one in Europe that has been living in the same city for 2,500 years without interruption and the community is still active in the city's life. The community has a synagogue and a cemetery with important and old inscriptions. The synagogue is on Katsu Street. It is unknown when the first synagogue in Chalkis was constructed. In 1854, during the Holy Week a great fire destroyed the synagogue. In 1855 it was reconstructed in the same size with funds offered by Sophie de Marbois Le Brun, Duchess of Plaisance. The synagogue opens every Friday evening and occasionally on Shabbat morning. Yanina <inaudible> 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 In Yanina, the Romaniote community has dwindled to 50 mostly elderly people. The Kahila Kedosha Yashan Synagogue there is open primarily on the high holidays, or in the case of the visit of a Chazan, or is open for visitors on request. Immigrant Romaniotes return every summer to the old synagogue. After long time a bar mitzvah the Jewish ritual for celebrating the coming of age of a child was held in the synagogue in 2000, and was an exceptional event for the community. The synagogue is located in the old fortified part of the city known as Castro, at 16 Iostiniano Street. Its name means, the Old Synagogue. It was constructed in 1829, most probably over the ruins of an older synagogue. Its architecture is typical of the Ottoman era, a large building made of stone. The interior of the synagogue is laid out in the Romaniote way. The bima where the Torah scrolls are read out during services is on a raised dais on the western wall. The Aaron HaKodesh where the Torah scrolls are kept is on the eastern wall and in the middle there is a wide interior aisle. The names of the Yoanniot Jews who were killed in the Holocaust are engraved in stone on the walls of the synagogue. The Bet Haim Cemetery in Yanina belongs to the community. Volos In the community of Volos the Romaniot pre-Sephardic traditions prevail. Ancient historic texts mention that Jews lived in the region of Magnesia, Thessaly and in particular in neighboring Almyros as early as the 1st century AD. Historians argue that Jews have been living in ancient Demetrius since the 2nd century AD. Ancient Jewish tombstones dating back to 325 to 641 AD, were also discovered in the neighboring city of Theotic Thebes. Moshe Pesach was rabbi of Volos who saved Greek Jews during the Holocaust and helped to consolidate the community of Volos after World War II. Israel Most Romaniotes in Israel live in Tel Aviv. There are two Romaniote synagogues in Israel, the Zakynthos Synagogue in Tel Aviv, and the Beit Avraham Veohol Sera Likahalit Ioannina in Naklo, Jerusalem. The former Romaniote Yanina Synagogue in the Christian Quarter, Jerusalem is no longer in use. <inaudible> United States Only one Romaniote Synagogue from originally several Romaniote Synagogues in New York is in operation in the entire Western Hemisphere, Kahila Kedosha Yanina, at 280 Broom Street, in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, where it is used by the Romaniote emigrant community. It maintains a mailing list of 3,000 Romaniote families, most of them living in the tri-state area. It is open for services every Saturday morning as well as all major Jewish holidays. The synagogue also houses a museum devoted to Greek Jewry and offers guided tours to visitors on Sundays. 
Topic: Genetics. Topic: DNA research and genealogical works based on the Romaniote communities of Yanina and Zakynthos are in progress. Topic: Notable Romaniotes. Topic: Byzantine times to the Ottoman Empire. Asaf ben Berichia. Moses Kapsali Mordecai Comtino Moses of Crete, a Jewish Messiah claimant of the 5th century CE Shabbathai Donolo Tobiah ben Eliezer Hillel ben Eliakim Elia del Medigo Joseph Solomon del Medigo Ahimaz ben Paltiel Eliezer ben Killer Elijah Mizrachi, Hakam Bashi of the Ottoman Empire Judah Leon ben Moses Moscone Leo II Hmong Archbishop of Ored Shemariah of Negropont Zarachia Hayavani Sabbatai Zevi, a Jewish Messiah claimant of the 17th century CE Greek-speaking Karaites of Constantinople Caleb Afendipolo Elijah Bashyazi Aaron ben Joseph of Constantinople Aaron ben Elijah Judah Hadassah Modern Times Abraham Cohen of Zante, a Jewish physician, rabbi, religious philosopher and poet on Zakynthos Mordecai Frizzes, officer of the Greek army during the Greco-Italian War Moshe Pesach, rabbi and recipient of the Order of the Phoenix Greece, which was given to him by George II of Greece King of the Hellenes Ray Dalvin, a prominent Romanotisa, particularly noted for her translation of modern Greek poetry Amalia Bacchus, a singer of Greek traditional and Rembatiko songs with a successful career in the United States. Matthias Naftali, former assistant district attorney of Brooklyn, and Liberal Party candidate for New York State Senate in 1950 Albert Cohen, francophone Swiss writer Jack H. Jacobs, Vietnam War veteran. Medal of Honor recipient Albert Levis, a psychiatrist, philosopher and innkeeper of the Wilburton Inn in Manchester, Vermont Minos Matzes, of the Matzes family from Yanina, music producer see Minos Emmy. Savas Matzes, is a Greek intellectual, author and leader of the Workers' Revolutionary Party Greece. Joshua Matza, is a former Israeli Minister of Health and former President and CEO of State of Israel Bonds Catherine, Crown Princess of Yugoslavia, a descendant of the Romaniote branches Batis and Dostis Alexander Levis, University Professor of Electrical, Computer, and Systems Engineering at George Mason University and former Chief Scientist of the U.S. Air Force Alberto Namias, legendary Greek football player who played for Iraklis Thessaloniki Club and was the first ever official goalscorer for the Greece national football team Avram Pengas, a musician of traditional and popular Greek music in the United States Topic. See also Topic. Hellenistic Jews Jewish Koine Greek Jews in Greece Thessaloniki and Yanina, the two cities in Greece with the most prominent Jewish communities Yanina Synagogue Greek Citron Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Connor T., Mary C. Judeo-Greek, The Language, The Culture. J Street Publishing, 2003. ISBN 1-889534-88-9 Dalvin, Ray. The Jews of Yanina. Cadmus Press, 1989. ISBN 0-930685-03-2. From, Annette B. Folklore and Ethnic Identity of the Jewish Community of Yanina, Greece. Lexington Books, 2008, ISBN 978-0-7391-2061-3. Kumas, P. Bibliography on the Romaniote Jewry. First Edition, 2016. ISBN 9783741277. Kumas, P. Bibliography on the Romaniote Jewry. 
Goldschmidt, Daniel, Mekher Tefillah ve Piyyut on Jewish Liturgy, Jerusalem 1978 in Hebrew, one chapter sets out the Romaniote liturgy. Topic. External links Topic. Kahila Kedosha Yanina, Romaniote Synagogue in New York official site. The Association of Friends of Greek Jewry United Brotherhood Good Hope Society of Yanina Inc. Seder Tefillet K. Minheg Kahilat Romania, Venice 1545, Romaniote Prayer Book for the Weekdays and Holidays Piutum recordings and written folios from the communities of Yanina, Chakis, Volos and Corfu and of other Greek Jewish communities In French Marie Elizabeth Handman L'autre des non juifs, et des juifs, les romaniotes. The other for non Jews. And Jews, the Romaniotes, Etudes Balkaniques, 9, 2002. Vincent Giordano, Before the Flame Goes Out, a document of the Romaniote Jews of Yanina and New York, sponsored by the International Survey of Jewish Monuments. Edward Victor, Yanina, Greece, account of the Kahila Kedosha Yashan Synagogue in Yanina, with photos, personal site Deborah S. Eskenazi, the pre-Ashkenazi and Sephardi Romaniote Jews, Jerusalem Post Magazine, October 5, 2006 Isaac Dostis, Farewell My Island